Numbers 31, reading from the verse number 1 through 8. Numbers 31, reading from the verse number 1 through 8. And the Lord speak unto Moses, saying, Now, Moses wasn't speaking to himself. Go back to verse 1. I want you to take note of that because it's very important. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, mm -hmm, Avenge the children of Israel of the Midianites. Afterward, shall thou be gathered unto thy people. And Moses spoke unto the people, saying, Arm some of yourselves unto the war. Arm some of yourselves unto the war. And let them go against the Midianites. And avenge the Lord of Midian. Of every tribe, a thousand throughout all the tribes of Israel, shall ye send to the war. Now go back. Let me let me let me show you something. Of every tribe, a thousand throughout all the tribes of Israel shall ye send to war, which means that nobody is excluded. Everybody in the tribe must be part of this battle and this war. Okay, let's go to verse 5. So they were delivered out of the thousands of Israel, a thousand of every tribe, 12,000 armed for war. It's important. Armed for war. In other words, if you are going into battle, you must arm yourself. Before you become a casualty. Next verse. And Moses sent them to the war. A thousand of every tribe. Then and Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest. To the war. With the holy instruments. And the trumpet to blow in his hand. And the word against the Midianites, as the Lord commanded Moses, and they slew all the males. And I will tell you the reason why they slew the males and not the females. And they slew the kings of Midian. Beside the rest of them that were slain. Namely, Heavy, and Rikim, and Zua, and Her, and Reba, five kings of Midian. Balaam, also the son of Beor, they slew with the sword. Amen. Amen. I want to preach on a message of entitled, War Against Midian. War Against against Midian. Please, you may be seated in the heavenly places. War against Midian. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, I ask you in Jesus' name that within these few minutes, speak to us. Minister to us. Let it be directly to us, cooperatively and individually. Everyone under the sound of my voice, let them hear your voice and not the voice of a man. I yield myself absolutely and completely to you, Holy Spirit. Use me, O oh God, as you please. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody say war against Midian. Or let's put it this way. War against the Midianites. Somebody say war against the Midianites. War against the Midianites. You know, <laughs> we are coming to the end of 2017. 
We are at the last month of the year. If nothing happens in this month, then it means that you are going to have a carryover. <laughs> I want to say that again because it's very important as it relates to my message. If nothing happens this month, and when I talk about nothing happening this month for you and I, what I mean is this. From the beginning of this year, we had dreams, we had visions, we had aspirations. There were things we petitioned of the Lord. There were things we requested of the Lord. There were things we asked of the Lord. We have great expectations that before the end of this year, certain things should happen. We have the expectation that before the end of this year, we should move to a certain level and a certain dimension. Certain things should happen for us. Not only as it relates to our destiny, but as it relates also to our finances, our career, our education, our business, every aspect of our lives. Now, you got to understand that if it had not happened up till now, it means that we have a couple of weeks. How many weeks? Like three weeks. We have three weeks for it to happen. If it doesn't happen within these three weeks, it means that we have a carryover. What do I mean by a carryover? Whatever we desire this year, if it doesn't happen, it means that we have to take it into the new year. And guess what? The new year, you have different vision, different dreams, different aspirations. And then this one also will be added to it. Now, this is my opinion. This cannot happen. I want to say it again. It cannot happen. Everything that you want to see in 2017, you must see it. Everything you are believing God for for 2017, you must see the manifestation. Everything you have asked God for, you have petitioned God for, in 2017, you must see it before the close of the year. You are not going to have any carryover. It is not God. So the scripture that we just read, God instructed Moses to attack the Midianites. God spoke to Moses and God told Moses, gather the people armed yourself and attack the Midianites. Now, God will not say attack the Midianite for attacking sake. God was telling Moses to gather and to arm the children of the Israelites to attack the Midianite because the Midianites were trouble to the Israelites. They were trouble. They attacked the Israelites on every side. Anytime the Israelites think that they have peace on every side, the Midianites will rise up and attack them. From every front. You remember Gideon? Gideon was hiding in the farms because of what? The Midianites. The Midianite impoverished the children of the Israelites to the extent that whatever harvest the Israelites get, the Midianite will collect the harvest. They will take the harvest from them. I want to ask somebody this morning, what has your Midianite been collecting from you? <laughs> they wait when it is harvest time and they show up 
and they collect their harvest. They impoverish the children of the Israelites. They ensnared them, held them captive, and controlled their destiny and their lives. This is what the Midianites, this is what they do. And God said, Moses armed the people and go up against the Midianites. I want you to listen to me very carefully. If you are going to see the things you have petitioned and desire and the things you have asked of the Lord to happen before the end of this year, you must go after the Midianites. The Midianites are a type of the kingdom of darkness. The Midianites are a type of opposition. The Midianites are a type that will not allow you to excel and progress. The Midianites are a type that comes up against you when you are advancing in life, when you are making it in life, when you are progressing, when you are moving from one level to the other, one dimension to the other, that is when they show up. Let me tell you, the reason why you have not seen the full manifestation of the things that you have asked and petitioned of the Lord, it is not because the Lord doesn't want to give it to you or the Lord has not released it. The question here is this. Who is blocking it? Who is hindering it? Who is interfering with it? Who is intercepting it? You cannot just sit there and say that as long as I have prayed to God, God will grant my request. Yes, God has granted your request, but there are media night that have intercepted it. There are media night that have stopped it. And the only way you can receive it is for you to arm yourself and go after the media night. God told Moses, arm yourself. And go after the Midianite and kill all the males. Leave the children, leave the women, but kill all the males. You know the reason why? The reason why God told Moses to kill all the male of the Midianite so that there will be no any other generation that will rise up and fight them. And avenge of the death of the people that they kill. Not only that, God was determined to wipe their seed. Because if the males are killed, it means that that generation is being wiped out from the surface of the earth. Because for the women to reproduce, they need the men. Because men are givers of seed and women are takers of seed. They nurture the seed. So if the men are not around to give the seed, how do they take the seed and how do they nurture the seed? And so God said, annihilate, eliminate, kill all the men. In other words, this particular man, if you are going to see the hand of God, if you are going to see the miracle, if you are going to see the open door, if you are going to see the testimony, give the testimony, if you are going to see the hand of God maneuver in every aspect of your life, you must be ready for battle and you must be ready for war and you must be aggressive without any form of mercy. Because oftentimes, the enemy has a way of playing on our emotions. Have you ever been there where you know that somebody is the predicament of all your painful and your tears and your lamentation? And when you go into prayer, you pray that God, let him repent. Let her repent so that she will stop. Or he will stop what he is doing. <laughs> it's a strategy of the enemy. 
God, let him repent. Let me tell you, there are some people that they will never repent. They will never ever repent because they have the spirit of Satan within them. They have purposed and determined to destroy people. To sabotage destinies. To circumvent lives. To create chaos and anarchy and pain. That is why when you get into the battle and you are attacking the Midianite, there is no time for emotionalism. There is no time for mercy. You eliminate them and you deploy the sword of the spirit and you cut them off. What I'm trying to say is this. Any Midianite that is blocking your next level, we cut them off in the name of Jesus. Any Midianite that is hindering your manifestation, your prophecy, your glory, your greatness, I declare in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus is against them. And we declare that if they don't leave your blessing, if they don't leave your money, if they don't leave your glory alone, if they don't leave your health alone, if they don't leave your promotion alone, if they don't leave your advancement alone, if they don't leave your marriage alone, if they don't leave your family alone, then let the angel of death with the drawn sword visit them one by one, one by one, one by one, in the name of of Jesus. God said to Moses, eliminate all the males. <laughs> this is a merciful God speaking to Moses. Eliminate them, wipe them out. And the word against the Midianite, as the Lord commanded Moses, and they slew all the males, they slew. If they slew, it means that they had a sword. If you are going to prevail before the end of this year, you must take hold of your sword. <laughs> Listen to me. As long as you are a child of God and you are a covenanted child, let me tell you, the Midianite will not leave you alone. Because your every move intimidates them. Your every move scares them. And so they will be coming after you from every side and on every side. That is why your mind got to be regimented. That is why you must arm yourself at all times and you must be ready for battle at all times and you must take your stand against the Midianites. You must take your stand against the Midianites. You must purpose and determine that you are not going to pray the same prayer you prayed last year, 31st. You are not going to pray the same prayer this coming 31st. This coming 31st, you must have new topics to pray about. Not the same old, the same old. For how long will you pray the same prayer? God, give me a new job. For how long will you pray the same prayer? God, bless me financially. For how long will you pray the same prayer? God, let me have my own business. I need the capital. Look at how long you have been praying for this. It cannot happen. It cannot happen this year. Before the end of this month, things must happen. Amen. Notable things must happen. Things that are beyond the comprehension of men must happen for you. There must be angelic assistance. There must be angelic maneuverings. There must be supernatural intervention in every aspect of your life. You are not going to have any carryover into the new year. Court cases. Court cases must be dismissed this month. They must be dismissed. Any 
compensation that needed to come to you this year, I decree by the finger of God, may that compensation be released to you. Anything that you have dreamt of, that you saw yourself doing, or the Lord blessing you with, and you have been waiting and waiting for the tangible physical manifestation, and you have not seen it, I declare that as we battle against the Midianite, as we war against the Midianite, as we take the sword and the battle to the gate of the Midianite, as we avenged of the Lord against the Midianite, I want you to understand that everything you dreamt of and every vision you saw, you will see it come to pass. You will hold it. You will touch it. You will feel it. Somebody shout, I receive it. The Midianites. The Midianites. You don't play around with the Midianites. They either live it or die. <laughs> if they don't live your destiny, if they don't live your life, if they don't live your glory, if they don't live your promotion, if they don't live your business, if they don't live your marriage, if they don't live your children and your family, they must die. No. God said, slew them, kill all of them. I declare, I don't care who the person is. As long as the person doesn't want you to laugh. As long as the person doesn't want you to celebrate. As long as this person doesn't want you to get to the next level and to the next dimension. I declare, I release the sword of the spirit into their house. I release the sword of the spirit into their heart. Let them be cut off. Let them be decapitated. Let them be redeployed. Let the angel of death visit them. Somebody shout fire. War against the Midianites. The Midianites are the type of people that say to themselves that why should you prosper? Why should you be happy? Why should you make it? Why should you excel? They act as if they have your destiny and they have your life. They act as if without them you cannot do anything. They act as if they are your open door. They are your blessing. Listen to me. This morning, anybody that has made himself or herself a God over you, may the judgment and the wrath of God consume them. Whatever you are carrying in your spiritual womb, it will not be a carryover. Whatever you are pregnant with, you will give birth to it before 31st. You will give birth to it. And that business will take off. That capital is coming into your hands. That client you are believing God for, they are being released right now. As I speak, that money you are believing God for, they are being released right now. As I speak, listen to me. You will not get into the new year still being single. Wherever your woman is, wherever your man is, any media night that is blocking your man or your woman, I deploy the sword of the spirit and I cut them off. Let the angel of the Lord avenge. Let the angel of the Lord be battle array in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Midianites. And the Bible says that when they went into war with the Midianite, they killed the king and they killed the key people. Now, listen to me. They killed so many people. Don't forget, they kill all the male, but they mention specific people. Project the scripture. I will tell you why. And they slew the kings of Midian. The kings of Midian. Beside the rest of them that were slain. 
besides the rest of them that were slain. Namely, Evi and Rechem and Zah and Her and Reba, five kings of Midian. Balaam, also the son of Beor, they slew with the sword. You know why? Because these were the principalities of the Midianites. These were the chief orchestrated orchestrators. These were the people, the brain behind the attacks of the Israelites, the woes and the calamities of the Israelites, the pain and the anguish and the tears of the Israelites. And when they went into battle, they purpose in their heart that whoever is behind their woes and their pain, they will eliminate the person and they did. Anybody sitting on your greatness, anybody that is working behind the scene, any force, any spirit, any entity, any deity, any human being, any agent of the devil, any warlock, any voodoo, any occultist that has come in covenant with the devil, sitting on your greatness, sitting on your happiness, sitting on your joy, sitting on your advancement, that have purpose and determined that stagnancy will be your portion and you will be immobile in life. I declare that may blood bombs and blood bullets, Father, O oh God, scatter them in the name of Jesus. Let them be scattered. Let them be scattered. Any human agent blocking your view. Any human agent blocking your future. Any human agent that has purpose and determine that you, you will not give birth to what you are carrying. Let them die now in the name of Jesus. Don't look at me somewhere and say, why are you killing them? God said, slew them. That's the scripture we read. Slew them. He says, slew them. Eliminate them. Cut them off. If things are going to happen for you before they come in here, you must arm yourself. You must say to yourself, History will not repeat itself again. You must also say to yourself, I will not allow the devil to establish this to become a cycle. I am breaking the cycle. I am breaking the cycle. The cycle of luck, I am breaking it. The cycle of borrowing and indebtedness, I am breaking it. The cycle of unnecessary attacks. I am breaking it. Amen. I am breaking it. The Midianites. You don't play with the Midianites. You don't joke with the Midianites. You don't eat with the Midianites. You see, the problem with some of you is that you are too gentle to your head. <laughs> and you are too compassionate to your head. <laughs> too compassionate to your head. <laughs> the other day, somebody sent me a flyer. And the flyer says, you are mo it's a revival. The person, a pastor who was having a revival in Zimbabwe. And the theme of the revival is this, your Mugabe must resign. I look at it and I was very fascinated about it and I was very excited about it. Your media night must resign.
the media night that have that have taken everything from you. They have hoarded the riches. They have hoarded the wealth. They have amassed themselves with wealth. And the people they are captives are suffering. They must resign. Amen. Not by negotiation. By war. You think that Mugabe would have resigned? If the army didn't rise up. The army rose up. Before they rose up, they armed themselves. They armed themselves. <laughs> because they couldn't have done that if they hadn't have armed themselves. I've been at Mugabe's place before. A couple of years ago, I gave this prophecy. You can enter and give Mugabe house arrest. Who, who are you? Even when you talk negatively about him, you will either be jailed or you will disappear. <laughs> you will disappear into thin air. They will see you again. But when the people were sick and tired and they said he must go, the army armed themselves and they compelled him to resign. He said he will resign according to his own terms. They said no, it must be now. I am talking about being aggressive and be ready for battle. You don't negotiate with the devil and you don't tell the devil. Don't let the devil be telling you what to do. Or oh, I will release your blessing next week. Now! Release it now. Release it now. The devil now, who is a type of Mugabe, Started begging for his life. <laughs> begging for his life. And the life of his family. With all the atrocities that he has caused. The people that have disappeared. The people that are in jail. For nothing. If it were to be some of you, the devil would be playing on your emotions. Oh, he's an old man, 93 year old man. That's 93 year old, but he's, he's the devil. Yes, sir. He's the devil. Immediately they held him hostage and they resigned. They have started recovering monies. The finance minister. $20 million was recovered from his house. Cash. Whilst the people are suffering. The last time I was in Zimbabwe, the, the workers have not been paid. Teachers have for months. But when the principality was held at ransom, the money was released. Amen. What am I trying to say? If you will rise up uh -huh. and hold the principality of the Midianite at ransom, your miracle will be released before the end of this month. Your breakthrough will be released before the end of this month. Your heart desires will be granted before the end of this month. That is why don't show any compassion. Otherwise, you will miss it. Yes. You will miss it. <laughs> Stop showing unnecessary compassions. It's unnecessary. In fact, there are some compassions that are seen. Because it doesn't make sense. God says, slew all the men. Finish them. 
so that none will rise up again in the future to fight you. What are you talking about? If you are the devil and I come after you, I'm not only coming after you, I'm coming after you and your seed. <laughs> I'm coming after you and your seed. I don't know if you have been you, you, <laughs> you have been checking and listening to the news and be reading. Who, who is this guy that the, 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 the state, the United States were looking for him for a long time and they killed him, buried him at the Osama bin Laden. You see, Osama bin Laden is dead and buried. But do you know that his son is rising up so fast? His son rising up, mobilizing. Why do you think he's doing that? For revenge. For revenge. If he were to be eliminated, there would be no revenge. Who is going to revenge? You must live to revenge. I'm putting something in your spirit. <laughs> The person that is messing with you, the principality of the Midianite war, whatever demon or whatever spirit or entity or whatever altar that has been erected by the Midianite, you must destroy the person that erected it and the person that is behind it and the person that was standing there when it was being erected and the person that saw it. of them they are guilty because if you are watching on whilst they were doing it and you know it's evil you should have said this is evil don't do it uh, what bible do you read check the book read the book very carefully what bible are you reading Paul didn't stone Philip you read your bible he didn't, he never took a stone to throw at Philip. But he held the garments of the people and stood there. While Stephen, I'm sorry, not Philip, while Stephen was being stoned. But when you check through the scriptures, Paul was accused of killing Stephen because he witnessed the death. Read your scriptures very carefully. And the conspiracy against you. Those who conspired. Those who were there. Those who heard it. Those who didn't even say anything about it. But quietly in their heart and in their spirit, they were in agreement with it. May the judgment of God consume them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> when, when, when somebody make a mockery of you or make a jest of you and there was another person around who didn't make the jest but laughed at the joke in his part <laughs> the person didn't make the mockery the person didn't make the jest but laughed at it he is part of it anybody that wishes quietly in their heart and they have not said anything. Anybody that form any alliance, network, allegiance, coalition with any group of people or individual to devise against your demise, God, I declare, because we cannot have a carryover, let the principalities and the powers of the Midianites 
eliminate them one by one, one by one, one by one, so that your glory will manifest, so that your blessing will manifest, so that your promotion in our lives will manifest, so that we will come into our glory, we will come into your goodness, we will come into your favor. Somebody shout fire. The Midianite must go. <laughs> because before the end of this month, we should be celebrating. Amen. When we got that 31st, I should come with my testimony. Uh -huh. You to come with your testimony. You to come with your testimony. When we got that 31st, whilst I am saying the Lord did this for me, you to you jump and you said the Lord also did this for me. Another person also jumped and says the Lord did this for me. That is what God wants to see among us. Not anarchy and chaos. Anarchy and chaos and pain is caused by the Midianites. Sometimes I'm wondering when you go on your knees, what do you pray about? Your prayer must be so sharp and dangerous that anybody that crosses it wrongly should be gone. 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 The Midianites must go. Amen. Otherwise, the delay will become a cycle. The disappointment, it will be become a cycle. And listen to me. When the Midianites are attacking you, they are not only focusing on you, they are focusing on your generation. <laughs> your generation and the generation that comes after you. So the same pain, the same suffering, the same storm, the same adversity, the same shame, the same reproach over and over and over and over and over and over again. That is why God has designated and appointed you and commissioned and commanded you that slew them. He didn't say appease them. He said slew. Slew them. Anybody holding your baby, they must leave the baby. You didn't hear what I said. Anybody holding your baby, they must leave the baby. I love boxing, I love fighting. What is your problem? I love boxing, I, I love fighting. And I've come to realize that the punches, they are not the same. Some are heavier than others. That is why we have different divisions. A bantam weight cannot fight a heavy weight. A superfecta weight cannot fight a light weight. Because the punches... They are different. <laughs> a cruiser weight will not fight a heavy weight because the punches are different. What am I saying? One day I witnessed something I have never witnessed before in my entire life. I was in Africa and I was crossing a pedestrian and there was these guys who were selling on the street. And there was this guy who was trying to buy something from this young guy. And I don't know exactly what happened. And all of a sudden, the guy who was selling was pouncing on the guy who wanted to buy. And this guy who wanted to buy, he was tall but very skinny. And the guy was trying to move away. But this guy was advancing towards him. The guy turned his back, you know, moving away. But the guy who was selling was advancing towards him. So the guy turned. One punch. 
One. Let me tell you, the guy was seemed heavy duty. <laughs> was skinny. God is my eternal word. Skinny battle. One punch. The guy died at the spot. Yes. One. One punch. Hey, media night. I will give you one. <laughs> fell and died. Now, this is what happened. When the guy fell and died, the guy was standing there like this. And all the market women started screaming and shouting at the other sellers, the men that were selling, that they should grab the guy and beat the guy. But if you have seen this guy die by one point, who will go? It was a very sad scene, but it ministered to me. I stood there to watch everything. Every, I was standing there. It was close proximity to watch everything. And so, all these other guys, they were trying to pick up things to throw at the guy. But everybody was afraid to get close to the guy. Because if you don't take it, you might follow the one that is... On the ground. Listen, your punches must be so heavy in prayer that when you punch one, they should go. One, just you don't need to punch two. One, they are gone. One and they are gone. One, just one. Before I travel, I watch a boxing. It, it, was, it was the shortest knockout in the history of the world. In boxing. Three seconds. Just, just one punch. They rang the bell. They came into the middle like that. And oftentimes, those ones whose punches are not heavy, they are the ones that throw more. And those ones that their punches are heavy, they don't throw it by heart. They target. They, they target. Yes. I have told you before. Life is not about how much you throw. It's about how much you take and still stand. That is what life is about. It is not about how many you throw and how much you throw. It's about how much you take and receive. And still stand. And oftentimes, those ones that their punches are heavy, believe you me when I'm telling you, I don't mix any boxing. Trust me. 2 a.m., 3, I will watch it if it is live. But I don't watch those amateur ones. Tough ones. And oftentimes, those whose punches are heavy, they don't throw, they don't just come and throw. They target and you see the weightless ones throwing so many punches. And that was what happened in this one. This guy came one at the rip. <laughs> On the ground, he tried to get up, went back again. The referee looked at it, he said, it's over. Listen to me. Recently, there was a fight. I'm, I'm using all these things to say something to you. There was a fight. It was the biggest fight ever. I think it was the second biggest. Beside Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. This one, it was McGregor and Mayweather. And this McGregor guy, the way he even walk. You would think that this guy is a King Kong. I have spent my whole night. Waiting for this fight. I said, this guy is going to surprise this Mayweather. This guy came. Started the fight. You know, this, way, this is how he punches and all that. And this guy, Mayweather was steadying him. Steadying him cool. He was punching. Steadying him cool. And then round 10. Come 
came and see punches. This guy, McGregor, couldn't breathe. <laughs> he was out of gas. Couldn't even stand. Punches everywhere, from face everywhere. The referee have to come in to stop it. To save his life, yes. We don't want anybody dying in the ring. We don't need any casualty. We don't need anybody to come as you ask. Let me stop this fight. Listen, if you know your weight and what you carry, you don't allow the media night to oppress you, to suppress you, and to hold you in captive. Things must happen for you before the end of this month. And before it can happen, you must arm yourself for battle. You must arm yourself for war. You must go after the media night. If it is going to happen. Don't put the blame on God. Because let me tell you. Everything you have asked. He has released it. The first day Daniel prayed. The Bible says. And the Lord heard and sent the answer. But the answer was intercepted. So it's not that God has not heard. And God has not granted your request. He has granted your request. But the question is this. Who is blocking it? Who is hindering it? Who is delaying it? Who is intercepting it? That is the person you should go after. If you go after that entity and that power and that spirit and that person, that miracle will fall into your hands. That is why you must arm yourself for war and for battle. From this very moment, your prayer is this. Anybody that is hindering my miracle, my breakthrough, my elevation, my promotion, my advancement, my glory, I take you out. I take you out. That should be the prayer. Because everything you have asked is already released. You shouldn't be God. Give, God has given it to you already. Those that are blocking it in mid-air. And let it fall into your hands. He has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly. But we don't live in the heavenly places. We live in the earthly realm. And so for you to jo enjoy these blessings, you must pray it into the earthly realm for you to enjoy it. And for you to do that, you must war. You must battle. You must arm yourself. And you must go after them. The Midianites. Hey, if they don't leave you alone and anything that concerns you before the end of this month, they would die. Amen. Rise on your feet. Hallelujah. I want you to walk up to two people and tell them, my Midianite. No, walk up to two people. Tell them, my media night. Before the end of this week, they will go. Please come for third service. Let's pray. Um, right now, we don't have the time because we have to close. But come for dominion hour. Let's stand on this scripture. Let's deal with the Midianites. The focus will be on the Midianites. We are going to battle. We are going to war. We are going to shoot arrows wherever they are. Because 31st, you must come with your testimony. Me too, I must come with my testimony. You too must come with your testimony. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands. I want you in two minutes declare war over the Midianites. In two minutes, declare war over the Midianites. Whoever they are, wherever they are, and wherever they are coming from. Thank you for watching this message. For more information about this message or the ministry, call us at 770-941-1934 or visit us online at eagleschapel.com.